Scorpio, welcome back for your July reading. Okay, I have pulled the cards ahead of time and I did say in the other videos that this would be short and punchy, but it hasn't ended up being so. So I will try and do a mid-month bit video, but no promises. Now I have pulled your chakra card and I'm going to interconnect that through the whole reading. Um, so your third eye at the moment is the area that you need to keep extremely balanced. Uh, and you're going to be almost holding your energy, and I'll explain why in a minute before I go any further. Um, take a look at the planets and what's retrograde. Do be mindful this month that a lot of your energy is going to be up and down. It can go from being anything from super agitated to you may be emotional, um, purging and crying, but just be mindful that some of these energies are in relation to previous lives. So now, how you dictate what is and what isn't, I mean, you can do a past life regression, but it'll be something of a common theme in your life that you have seen throughout your life. So it's almost like we're breaking links and we're breaking chains. And to do that, it's a bit like the old, you know, cough and cold, you know, you wash your hands in between it, you break that chain. So I'll try and do some toolkits on YouTube connected to that, but I'll have to tune into the energy further. Uh, look, Saturn has been retrograde since April, Pluto retrograde since April. They're not going direct until September. Neptune um, has been since June 18th, and it's not going direct until the 24th. Mercury, July 26th it will be. Be very careful around contracts. Um, and try not to buy anything new around that time either. Jupiter retrograde until the 10th of July. So there will be a shadow period, obviously, but a lot of the our blocks connected within our ego are going to be alleviated during this time, and we might be seeing things very differently, but it's definitely not for the fickle heart at this month. Um, Uranus on the 7th of August, and I won't bore you any further. I'll just like, they're the planets. That's what the month looks like. So when you say, why do I feel crap? Yeah, that would be why. Okay, straight into your reading. Straight off the bat, self-expression, where you're being hindered, where you're being, you know, where you're having to use it too much. So it can be overactive to the point where you're having to express yourself to everyone and it's frustrating you. So like I said, I will integrate this into your reading and help you understand what's going on in your general life. There may be energies around you that you're finding super critical. This can be in your workplace, it can be at your home, it can be through your friendships, or it can be you physically towards yourself. Expression. So you're going to go from being super understanding to really flying off the coop. Be mindful. Now, this month does bode well. It has mass potential for your discovery. Uh, it will promote the peace within you. You will also have heightened intuition around this. So this is where you'll be using your expression and removing it. So if you keep it balanced, your throat chakra will be key for your acceleration or demise, but it's going to be automatically connected to a trigger, connected to a reality of what's to be. It can be that you're looking at other people or people are directly looking at you in your general life. And, you know, it can be that you're feeling moody. It can be also that you're looking at them. Why can't you just have a simple life like they do? Why can't it just be basic? I'm feeling more its energies push towards you and it's triggering you. It's like, look, just get off my back. My life isn't always a bit of roses. It, it is a jealous eye connected to you. Now, I do feel like you're sensing this. As I said, you know, your intuition is heightened this month. And in general, you guys are fairly psychic. So you're intuitively feeling this. And with that upgrades, you know, when I say upgrades, when we go through any spiritual transformation and it comes in cycles, uh, and our personal growth within our own life, we find we become more intuitive. You directly are becoming more intuitive. You're also not manifesting. Now, in your family, you're assessing. And during the retrograde, best possible thing to do. Go inside and have a deep think. You're also within your family realizing that everything changes, that it is part of life cycle, and that you are okay with the fact that the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs and the changes are a natural part of progression 
within the family dynamic. But some things you put on hold connected to manifesting something within a family dynamic. You're trying to keep your energy playful during this time and you're expressing such. But just be careful because remember, we can go excessively or retreat. But try and keep playful around this. In your finances, you're guided to block out distractions so you can deal with the aspect of finances. It might be you have too, much, too many balls in the air this month. People are coming towards you and you're finding it very hard to concentrate on the task at hand. It can be that you do need to be cautious around the contracts of the 26th due to Mercury retrograde. Be super careful around that time. So even if you're finding you've got too many balls in the air and it's becoming problematic, just be mindful of the 26. Mark it in your calendar. Put it in your phone. And then you might be a little bit more safer around that time when you're getting distracted because it's asking you to remove distractions so that you can focus. Now, your intentions, you need to be very crystal careful Claire, we are in a karmic cycle, so what you put out is what you're going to get back. And again, you're a very psychic sign. You, with some things, you don't want to keep the face anymore. And you're going to express this, but it's going to be off the rector scale, so just be super careful. You're going to have to have courage connected to this. But remember, courage is moving through energies, but courage only is needed during adversity. And my cat's yelling at me. Okay, so it may be you're sensing intuitively, sensing, that you're going to need courage connected to a situation. It might be a conversation you're wanting to have with a particular individual. Um, and you're, you're trying to gain the clarity before going in for this discussion. You're also... I don't feel this is paranoia. I think you're going back down memory lane and you're trying to decipher between a shapeshifter. Now, with a shapeshifter, if a synchronistic pattern is coming up again in your life, it can be an old way of doing something. It can be an old vibration. It can be a gut instinct. You need to be crystal clear before you jump in the gun because some of these situations we can physically manifest in our 3D life. Or some of them might be intuitively we have this deep knowing, so we're assessing it. And you will express it very loudly. Okay. You're not letting go of an aspect of a judgment, or it may be that you feel firmly that your judgment is so. Okay, and you're gonna express this. You, you're trying to you're trying to hold it back. You're trying to have the courage to, you're trying to keep the peace, but you know peace isn't going to stay that way if you don't speak your truth. So you're going to speak your truth in connection to something when it comes to your crystal clear intentions. So this could be connected to work, it could be connected to your love life, it depends on where you feel it physically fits. Now, your stone, crystal or gem... Okay, you've had an inspiration connected to a job, and I think this is finances. So you're getting distracted, you're feeling the vibration perhaps at work or on something you're physically working towards is not working in a way you needed it to be. That could be due to a home environment. It could be due to a situation where you're bombarded with other tasks and other 3D situations in life. Be a clear conduct for messages and inspirations, complete intentions formulas and creative work amplifying courage and confidence and the funny thing is you've got the courage card you're questioning your ability to do something it's almost like you're second guessing yourself but you've already started something or you've already decided to do something so it can be jumping into a different career field or doing something in a different way whatever you're feeling blocked by is saying yes it's don't use, because again, ego can block us, okay? The planets might be causing conflict with you at the moment, but they're only triggers. They're not a reality. Decipher between what is a trigger and what is your intuition, because a trigger will speak louder, and you'll have to go, and then you'll have to calm yourself and go, I'm only getting triggered. Couples, okay, 
you're not ending something, although something might have ended. So it may be an area that's coming up into your emotions in a shapeshifter sense, because this is the general part, that is reminding you of a trigger connected to the past that you may need to address. Try not bury it. It doesn't have to be a conversation connected to anyone as per se. It can be, I feel it's more directly connected to you internally of you processing something. So it may come up during this heavy cycle that we're going through. Healing has completed, but part of it may just be resurfacing, you know, and it, it's testing you to see whether you're going to get triggered connected to it within the relationship. You will be your own worst enemy. You will be able to smell an enemy. You need to understand that. You need to go into your higher self and have faith in this situation. And for some of you, it may be that you're wishing to renew your vows. For some. Oops. Please follow your intuition if you are feeling there's an enemy around. And I feel a lot of you guys will, uh, and this is what I've noticed, uh, your intuition changes to the point you start feeling it on your skin. That's a new one for me. Okay, you're definitely meditating on something. You, okay, so your throat chakra, you're going to be straight off the hook. You're going to be saying exactly what you mean, which I wouldn't doubt that. I have some beautiful friends that are scorpions. And you're going to, the only procrastination is coming down to divine timing, I feel. And it, you got the infinity. You feel you got all the time in the world and you're giving yourself that permission basis during July to meditate on it. And you're going to be taking your mask off. So some of you, this can be connected to a twin flame. Some of you. It's a number 11 card. And you're going to rise from the ashes. So if it's a past tense hurt connected to this relationship you're in, that's been healed and you're moving above and beyond it. Um, if it is where you feel you're in between and you're feeling you're wanting out, well, you will rise above the ashes and you'll make that happen. But this could be altogether a very separate energy that is a wound that you dealt with. And during this time... A lot of people that have passed over their energies are around us, so that can actually be bringing a trigger up as well for highlight. Okay, singles. You're changing your ideal of time. It's almost like you're either meditating that hard that you've missed time or that you're starting to feel a sense of missing time. Where has time gone? You need to be mindful that time moves, but differently to the way you're thinking. You're focused on something, and I think you're having clarity connected to you meditating on something, but also trying to do 3D work at the same time. You also feel you've given something enough time and you are becoming impatient connected to it. Okay, law is not justice, rules that are not that are not fair. So it, you do feel as though there has been an injustice in this, like you've waited and waited and the clock hasn't turned around in your favour and you're saying that's just not good enough. But you are becoming braver connected to your journey. And remember your throat chakra, your self-expression is going to be going off the hook this month. Okay, you're regretting some sort of action, but I feel you're psychoanalyzing yourself. It might be regretting being with someone or feeling something. And again, you're not focused on time. I feel you have an intuition about this situation. Yeah. You're having a clarity connected to it, why you haven't been fussed by it. It's almost like you're going, huh, because you already manifested it. You didn't need to do anything. It was too late. It was already manifested, so it was already in the pipeline. It's like you're even surprised by your own gift. You're like, oh, did I do that? That was ages ago. 
Follow your own good advice. If you've given advice to someone recently, follow it. Okay. Last card. Okay, you have this in reverse. Impossible things are possible. Because the manifesting was already done. Wanting a booking, link down below. Bye.